Jervais Le Bain. On the right, we have the crew, the, all of the runners on their way up. And in any minute now, we're going to jump back to Chamonix. Any minute now, Chamonix, for the winner of the, uh, the CCC. And here it is. Here we go now. Here he is. Uh, Luis Alberto Hernando Alzaga. And here it is. A, you know, he's been leading for so long. 10 hours, 28 minutes to complete the uh, 101 kilometers. So yes, Team Adidas Terex, 101 kilometers, 6,100 meters of climbing. And uh, yep, he has absolutely nailed that from start to finish. So yeah, so well done to uh, Luis Alberto Hernando Azaga. So uh, he is home and dry, and that is a a well-deserved victory. He's just been cruising along all the way through that race, and uh, yeah, there was never any doubt uh, in my mind for such a long period of time. The triple world champion is now the winner of the CCC. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so Luis Alberto has got plenty of time now to do loads of high fives. Look how busy Chamonix is right now. And also right now, I know that there's a big crowd down in Saint-Gervais-les-Bains. They're waiting to welcome in the runners. They're gonna have Pau Capel to high five them all to begin with. So Pau's gonna be in there. That's gonna be 21 kilometers. So just 150K to go for Pau. Um, so uh, yep, yeah, so he's uh, out in the lead right now and he's been very much hunted by a very large pack of runners, including uh, Yao Miao from China. She is right up there mixing it with uh, all the other runners right now. Not just the female runners, but also some of the top male athletes. So, uh, yeah, so hearing from uh, Joyce over in New York, uh, a Brazilian, and she's uh, she wants to add the UTMB to uh, her bucket list. I think there's a lot of people right now around the world and also here in Chamonix like, I want to do this. So, yeah, there's something about being around the UTMB that is absolutely infectious and also inspiring. So, uh, and it's people like uh, Pau Capel and also uh, Luis uh, Alberto Hernando that do that. There we go, uh, Thibaut Garivier, that was, a, uh, that was a massive final descent for Thibaut. That gap came down dramatically. I don't know if... Uh, wow, so that's your second place finisher. I think almost caught out our team as well. That was super fast. So, Spain and France, that's your first two finishers at the CCC. Oh no, fantastica llegada. En esos instantes lo habéis visto de Thibaut Garibier. So, Luis, Team Adidas Terex, and Thibaut, uh, Team Hoka One One. Yes, well done. Enhorabuena, campeón. Ahí. What an incredible run from our second place French athlete, Thibaut Gallivier. So the gap was 10 minutes. So I guess with the interview and everything, it wasn't such. So yeah, 10 minutes uh, between uh, Luis and, uh, and Thibaut. Great seeds for our French winner and our French crowd here at Chamonix. So for those of you who just can't go away from UTMB all night, uh, our current plan here is that we're going to be on air till between 11 and midnight. There, then we will we will be live again in Cormayeur between 2 and 3 a.m. to catch the first runners through. And then we will be live again from the morning, 7 a.m. We'll have the helicam. We will have live footage as the leaders go down into Switzerland to La Folie. But uh, we're going to be with you now for 
coming up to eight o'clock for at least another three to four hours this evening. And we're already going to start to see a UTMB race unfold. Very, very powerful. Well done, guys. So uh, just to let you know, uh, Yidi Chipa from uh, the Czech Republic is definitely looking like odds on now. He's about 15 minutes ahead of uh, even Camps in fourth place and Juan Jose Sumahano in fifth. So uh, the third runner in the CCC is looking likely to be the Czech runner Yidi Chipa. Sam McCutcheon from... Uh, from New Zealand has moved up now. Sam is now sixth. And uh, Shen Jiasheng from China is seventh. Zhang Zhenlong from China is ninth. So yeah, so there's a good showing. Mario Mendoza is currently 14th. Allez, je me retrouve avec l'homme de la batineuve. So we are now, I think we're at some point you're about to see the cameras ping over to uh, Saint-Gervais. Pendre le départ, mais après cette année où tu as formidablement bien commencé, puis après la blessure qui t'a contraint à ne pas pouvoir faire les sélections, qui était ton objectif, aujourd'hui tu fais une course, mais juste énorme. Ouais. Ouais, très content. Vas-y, très. Allo, allo. Ouais, très content de la course, bien sûr. En fait, euh, j'ai même enchaîné quatre blessures euh, depuis le mois d'avril. Euh, ça fait beaucoup. C'était quand même euh, assez dur mentalement. Et puis, euh, mais bon, voilà, j'ai rien lâché. J'ai espéré euh, jusqu'au dernier jour être, euh, être au départ. Et puis, euh, voilà, ça doit faire dix jours que je suis convaincu de que je vais pouvoir prendre le départ. J'avais besoin de ça parce que euh, c'est pas quelque chose euh, qu'on peut se dire la veille. C'était euh, mon premier 100 km. Euh... <rire> voilà. Comment tu l'as vécu ce premier 100 km Attends, on va laisser peut-être déjà Vicky euh, dire ce que tu viens de dire. Just uh, quickly, uh, yes, it's true. I come from uh, injuries and it's not uh, been uh, easy uh, to uh, prepare. It's only uh, 10 days before the start when I was uh, sure I, I could make it. That was my first 100 kilometers and uh, it's been hard, but here I am. Ouais, Raconte-nous comment tu l'as vécu avec un, un grand Luis Alberto. C'est toujours euh, forcément un honneur de courir avec des garçons comme ça qui lui aussi couraient après une victoire ici à l'UTMB. Il avait essayé à plusieurs reprises et c'était compliqué. Mais tu n'as rien lâché. Il n'y a jamais eu un gros, gros écart. Au contraire. Ouais. So, uh, the right hand camera, that's our, that's our helicam and they're uh, flying uh, above avec, uh, uh, the streets of Saint-Gervais-les-Bains. De France et notamment uh, de Oka. Euh, que ce soit euh, Ludo Pomeray, Nico Martin, euh, qui ont eu affaire à lui euh, de nombreuses fois. Euh, il a rarement été battu, euh, notamment sur les championnats du monde. Là, aujourd'hui, euh, bon, là, il n'y a, a pas de discussion possible. There we go. Euh, There is Pau Capel, just arriving into Saint... J'ai dû être à 3 minutes, ça l'a un peu énervé. Euh, yeah, Pau Capel, just arriving. Look at the crowds here in Saint-Gervais. They, they really do love the UTMB here. So yeah, so they loop around. It's a really big, it's like a huge arena here in Saint Gervais to welcome. This is outstanding. Still a lot of daylight here. You've been uh, following uh, Luis. Yes. Uh, so uh, drinking is going to be key here, and the time checks. We're going to get some good time checks here. So Pau Capel is through here in one hour forty-five, and we'll be. Uh, uh, today, uh, the closest I uh, I came was like three minutes back him, but uh, uh, I think he was a bit nervous about that. He didn't like it, so uh, I went back to eight minutes in about nothing. But uh, but I think we did a great race with a very good time. So that was fast in and out. Pau's going to see his support crew in uh, Les Contamines. And uh, Yidi Chippa And Yidi Chipa coming in here. So the third place runner from the Czech Republic. So congratulations to Yidi. So Yidi is completing 100 kilometers. And Pau Capel has just gone through 21 kilometers. Spain, France, and the Czech Republic 
wonderful achievement. Third place here in the CCC in Chamonix in the 2019 UTMB. You watch the runners now. San Gervais is about to go absolutely mental with all of the runners coming piling in. It's just going to be like a who's who of trail running. Il podio CCC con Luis Alberto Hernando Alzaga che vince di Bulgaria e Francia e secondo terza piazza Cecchia gli si va. So there's Pau, he's in and out of San Gervais, he's heading along the, uh, the, the road now through the town of San Gervais, then they drop down right and then they're going to be heading through kind of like through a heavy canopy and it's kind of like it's it's very much a, a cheeky little climb up to uh, Les Contamis Montjoie and uh, then uh, I know that uh, Dylan, uh, Harmony, Topher and Kim are kind of guys out on the course. They're going to be up at uh, Notre Dame de la Gorge where traditionally there's normally uh, a huge bonfire. So we'll be getting uh, some uh, on-course feedback from those guys later on this evening as well. So Yuri is putting on his uh, cherished finisher vest. So Powell's obviously feeling pretty chipper. He's doing the high fives with all the runners. So we're expecting uh, Pau to reach uh, Le Contamine. So Pau was two minutes inside our projected time. So he's going to be in Le Contamine by in about one hour's time. In the meantime, we're keeping an, We're just trying to see the time gaps already in Saint Gervais. That's. Uh, of the 2019 CCC. Well, I think if Power was a Chinese runner, we'd be all going, wow, he's gone off too hard. So um, I guess only time is about to tell.